Hey friends, Amy here with Leap of Faith Crafting. Thanks so much for stopping by. So today we are going to be doing some arabesque tile ornaments. Quick and easy craft, makes great gifts, things like that. So as you can see and probably know there's lots of different types of tiles from different stores and different sizes and slightly different shapes that don't always work with the exact file that you're using. So I'm going to show you an easy way of figuring out how to size your ornaments. So I'm going to take you through a way of bringing in the design into Cricut Design Space so you can size and see what files will fit on your tile itself. Just making two different sizes and both of these I got at Lowe's but you can see that they're both different. One's a little bit smaller and one a little bit bigger have kind of different edges to them and all of these files I actually got from Creative Fabrica which I love I talk about it all the time um, if you are here around Black Friday they are having a, an amazing sale right now of getting the yearly subscription for the lowest price I think it's ever been I think it's $47 I will link it all below make sure you check that out I will be adding to my yearly subscription because even if you're already a customer you can still use it so it's great um, as a Black Friday sale. I'm going to start in design space showing you some tips and tricks on sizing these and then I'm just going to cut them out on my Cricut. So I'm going to be using printable vinyl and this is the silver holographic printable vinyl and then just some adhesive vinyl and some hooks to put on the back and my hot glue gun and then obviously and you can use any Cricut for the adhesive vinyl. Um, the print and cuts, you would need a Joy Extra, Explore, or the Maker to do the print and cuts. Okay, so let's start crafting. We can actually take a picture and upload it into Design Space to give us kind of the outline of it. So what you want to do, a little tricky because you want to get, it's probably going to be hard for me while I film it, but you want to put it on a solid contrasting surface. Um, we want to try to reduce the amount of shadows. Mine's kind of shadowy because of my lights in here for filming. But um, you don't want anything with texture. I tried that and that's harder to remove the background. But I'm just going to go into my camera here and take a photo of it. Okay, and then we are going to go into on Google and we're gonna go into remove.bg. If you have Cricut Access and have the background imager remover, you can definitely use that or another app that you like. I don't have um, access to that, so I'm just using a free remover. I also use Canvas sometime, but I'm just gonna hit upload image here. Click on my image that I did. Do done. And you'll see right there, it got rid of all that background image. So now I'm just gonna download this. Okay, I'm going to save this. I'm going to open it and actually upload it into my Google Drive. So I have that there and then we're going to bring it into Design Space and use it there. So if you're on an iPad, you can also take a picture right into Design Space and upload it. Or, up, or if you use your, your phone for Cricut Design Space, you can upload it directly into Cricut Design Space from your phone. But we're going to jump into Z Design Space and bring it in there. Okay, so once I am on my computer here, I have pulled this up from my Google Drive and I'm just going to download it. So I have it on my computer and then I'm going to go into Cricut Design Space and go into Upload, Upload Image, I'm going to Browse and I'm gonna find that in my downloads. Click on it, click on open. Um, I'm just gonna do simple, high contrast, go to continue, and you'll see that that's already checkered because we already used our background re removal. I'm gonna apply and continue, and then we are gonna save this as, actually you could do either if you wanna see the white, or you can save it as a gray. I'm gonna save it as a print and cut image. Okay, click on that and now we're going to add this to my canvas and then I am going to, I have my arabesque ornament in my hand, I need to find a ruler and I'm actually going to measure it. So it is exactly three inches tall by slightly lower than three. So on my height, I am going to keep my lock on and I'm going to change this to three inches high three inches high click return and that goes to 2.846 which looks like what it is okay so that's our 
our ornament we are going to be using. Okay, so then I'm going to upload some, if you have Cri Cricut Access, you can definitely use files here. I'm actually going to go into Creative Fabrica, which I love, and if you're here around Black Friday, there is a great deal going on, and I will link it below. I love my yearly subscription because you get all of this with commercial use allow allowed. Check out those details below um, with my link. So there's a few different ones we can do here. I'm going to do one that's just a print and cut. So I'm going to go ahead and I just typed in arabesque ornament up here and you get a whole bunch of different ones. I am going to download this and then come in and extract them all and extract and then double click on this. Oops. And let's see which one. Let's look at the owls. I'm going to go into large, maybe extra large icons. Oh, aren't they so cute? Um, let's do, I think I'm going to do him. Okay, so let's click back onto Cricut Design Space. I'm going to go into Upload again, Upload Image, and then I'm just going to bring my folder up here. Okay, and then just drag this over here. Okay, I'm going to click on complex, continue, save that, continue, then I'm going to do a print and cut image. So I'm just going to click on that and click on upload. And then I'm going to grab a few more over here. So I'm going to go back and let's see what else I've downloaded here. Um, these ones are kind of fun these cracked hole ones and then I have a couple other ones I've downloaded so I'm just going to go ahead and upload a few of those so we can get started making these Okay, so now I have these. I'm going to click on all of these and add them to my canvas. Okay, so now that I have these, so they probably are going to be slightly different than this. I'm probably going to cut them kind of around the edge, but I know for this one my height is three. So I'm going to change this three and let's see what so you can see that that's not the same ornament that I have, that it's gonna be a little bit different here. So depending on if we, you know, we can add it like that, and it will just be a little bit off. Let's see what this one does when I go to the height of three. So again, this one's not the same either. So there's some options you can make it bigger than your ornament. You know and trim around it or you can make it a little bit smaller like that let's see what this guy I don't think any of these actually are gonna fit very well so obviously these ones are gonna be the easiest that don't have the actual um, full thing on them they don't cover the full ornament so you can get them pretty good like that so I'm going to size that for my ornament there um, let's do this one so let's do another that's just going to fit right inside okay Size him down. Cute. So then I am going to. Actually, I'm just going to duplicate this. And then I'm going to turn it to a cut image. Just a basic one. I'm going to size it just a little bit smaller. This is going to go on the back of it to kind of cover up that back side. So I am going to like that let's go into 
So these Mary Ann Bright, I'm actually going to attach all of these right now. They're not attached. So I'm just going to click on one, hold down my control, click on the other one and on the other one and come down and Oops, I want all of them. Okay, I need to ungroup them. So I'm going to ungroup this. And then I'm going to click on my Mary, hold down my control, and click on and, and bright, and go ahead and attach these. So they cut out together. Let's group this back together. Okay, this I'm going to hide because I don't want to print and cut on here. Okay, so I'm going to hide that one and then I'm going to cut these out of cardstock or you can do out of felt if you want. I'm going to duplicate these so I have a few of them to put on the back. Okay, so you can see when I do the same thing and bring the kind of the taller ornament in and I sized it to what I wanted. Some of these fit exactly over it. So you can see like this Santa fits right over it. The problem with some of these ornaments is it has kind of this grade on the side that goes down. So we'll have to see how those lay on the side. But we're gonna do a couple of these ones too. So you can see that that one, and they even come in the exact size that they need to be. And again, I'm going to switch this to a basic cut and duplicate it and cut a couple of these ones out. Okay, so we're gonna go to make it. I'm gonna send this through my printer and then we will start cutting, cutting out. Okay, so I have my, my print the cut printed and I printed it on a silver um, principal vinyl sheet. So just to add some extra sparkle to it there, so I'm going to add it to my Cricut mat here up on that top corner and use my brayer, press it down and I set it to printable specialty vinyl on my computer. I'm going to load that and cut that up. load my mat then I'm just going to keep going through and cutting everything out. The next few ones will be out of permanent vinyl that I'll be cutting out, permanent piece of vinyl, and then we'll put them together. Okay, so this is ones I got. These are from Lowe's and I got them last year, um, but they come on the netting because this would go up on your wall. So the minor three inches and I just pull them off the back side of that netting. Okay. And I'm just going to clean them off with a little bit of alcohol. And then I'm just going to finish weeding off the rest of my vinyl here. Okay, I'm going to turn my glue gun on so we can apply the ones to the back. So these ones off sleep, the print and cut ones are super easy. I'm just going to peel those off. Like that guy. Cute. And then I'm going to apply the rest of the adhesive vinyl onto the tiles with some transfer tape. Okay, so now we have all of our ornaments there. We are going to glue, and I'll link these below, our little hooks onto the back side. So then, like I said, you can be done here, or 
we're gonna put these just on the back side just to kind of finish it up. You know, you can definitely write even kind of the year here. Even put them underneath the that bra that holds it if you want. So that's it. Pretty quick and easy. Love him. The printable vinyl makes it the holographic. And again, just super easy way to do it of taking the picture and uploading it to make sure that they fit the ones you have because there's so many different ones. So the one thing with the larger tiles you need to be mindful of is that you can get bubbles underneath the vinyl. So try to push it on the center side first and then out to the sides. If you do get bubbles, you can use a scraper and try to push those over to the side to come out. You can also use, pop just a very tiny little bubble with um, your weeding tool and push it down and that should flatten it out too. Okay, so you see on this one, it was pretty hard to get it, that outside edge to be perfect and to lay flat, just because it has that bevel. I knew I was probably gonna take it off, so. I'm just gonna pull it off, because I like that look better. But again, that's the beauty of crafting all personal preference on how you wanna do it and make it your own. Hope that helps getting you started with making some cute little ornaments that are really budget friendly with the arabesque tiles. And make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any more tutorials and happy crafting.